Iron Man Ron Trump Law is coming up later on this week. So I thought I'd put together a video with some tips from my experience racing at Trumblaw in hopes that you can have your best race. Starting off in the swim, if this is your first Ironman or if it's the first time that you're doing a one loop swim course, when you get down there on race morning, you might be shocked at just how far out you have to swim. I know I was when I did my first Ironman at Trumblaw in 2013. Best advice I can give you is to just take it one buoy at a time. During the pre-race briefing, they'll tell you just how many buoys there are out there. There's likely gonna be somewhere between 12 and 15 going out and then another 12 to 15 coming back. And I just try and take it one buoy at a time and just count them off as I'm going out and then when I'm coming back. Once you've made the turn and you're heading back towards the village, the sun is gonna be coming up in front of you. I tend to use tinted goggles in all my races, so I've never had a huge issue with the sun. And sighting isn't too much of a problem when you're coming back because there's all sorts of tall buildings from the village that you can sight off of. Out on the bike, the best advice I can give you is to really make sure that you're keeping a close eye on your power or your heart rate in those early kilometers. Your adrenaline's gonna be pumping, you're gonna be really excited, there's gonna be all sorts of people there that are cheering you on, there's gonna be other athletes that are flying past you. But a lot of those athletes are gonna be going well above their threshold and they're gonna pay for that later on in the race. The hills in the first 9K of the race might not feel like much on your first lap, but if you overcook them on that first lap, you'll definitely feel them on the second lap. In that same vein, once you get to the Duplessis climb, I recommend you go up it as easy as possible on your first lap. You're gonna go up the climb twice towards the end of each of your laps and I've never heard anyone come off the bike and say they wish they went up harder the first time. Finally, when you're coming back down Duplessis at the end of your first and second laps, make sure that you're alert and aware. It's not an overly challenging or technical descent, but there have been some issues there. And I expect a big part of that is because of big efforts that people are putting in going up Duplessis and then just kind of checking out and paying more attention to nutrition than the road. And there have been some collisions in the past. Out on the run, it's a two lap run course. And for each lap, I like to break it up into two distinct sections. There's a 5K hilly section, which is both gonna be the first 5K and the last 5K of each lap. And then there's an 11K flat section. In the hilly section, I'm less concerned about my pace and I'm more concerned about running strong with good form, checking in with my body and making sure I'm getting in good nutrition. And then once I hit the flat section at about 5K and I'm out on the rail trail, that's the time where I really like to be able to just zone out and knock off kilometers. If you're able to get into a zone and get into a really good rhythm, then this is a great place where you can make up time both on your competitors and on your goals. I hope everybody racing Ironman Montremblant this weekend has a great race. If you happen to see me in the village, definitely come by and say hi. So thanks a lot for checking out this video. If you like what you see, you can click the subscribe button down below. And until next time, happy training. Oh, this new crazy mother...